Bonjour à tous. Hey everyone. So today was a good day. I got to finalize my volunteer thing. I'm going to be teaching English to a girl preparing for her uh, school exams this year. She is in the hospital because two years ago she had a partial stroke. Uh, she's having, having trouble with memory and recovering from it, uh, as is quite obvious from her still being in the hospital. Um, but her memory is such that she's having trouble remembering the things she learned in her science classes, her math classes, and she wants to be a doctor. So she will be taking what's known as le baccalauréat S. This is an exam that is incredibly difficult. It's a lot of numbers, it's a lot of science. It's for the people who want to go into the sciences. And so she's preparing for that this year. And that's amazing. Her English, so I'm told, is one thing that she hasn't lost a lot of and that she's pretty good at it. So really, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to boost her confidence and try to share positivity with her because she's going to have a lot of trouble with the math class that she's taking and she's taking physics with someone else through this program. Uh, this program is called APEMA, um, A-P-E-M-A. A, and basically it's an association that allows people to volunteer to teach in hospitals um, which is amazing because if you're taken out of school long term what are you gonna do for classes you can't just stay enrolled in a school you're not going to for God knows how long basically what they'll do is they'll have uh, exchange students in at a university level teach high school students and for anything higher they will get either real teachers and professors or pe the teachers in retirement to teach. Uh, basically they have this association to help people like this uh, kids who are, for example, fighting things like cancer or a long-term thing that keeps you in the hospital, like uh, Crohn's disease, um, which is not always as debilitating, apparently. I don't know much about it, but I don't know. It was the first thing that popped into my head, so I'm sorry if I'm wrong. <laughs> or people like Lise, which is her name who are recovering from something that happened, like a stroke, like a really debilitating car accident, like a really, really bad concussion from sports. Um, rugby can be pretty violent. I mean, it is the European American football, so you never know. But yeah, I'm really excited. I will be teaching her English, teaching my role is really to boost her morale, not to teach her English. It'll be more like discussion based from what I hear. They want me to help her talk about things that are going on in the world, talk to her about the cultural differences between the US and France. And having a native English speaker or a native speaker of any language you're trying to learn um, is really the most beneficial thing because they're going to know exactly how to say something and what you would say versus what you wouldn't uh, because there are some words in that do technically exist in English that the French use and think they're the same thing and they're not. Uh, le jogging is one of those things and I think this is hilarious because I hear it all the time. Um, pressing Pressing is another one. <laughs> oh man, jogging in French, by the way, jogging does does not mean the activity that you would think of. It means basically tracksuit bottoms. <laughs> uh, 
jogging pants. And they think pressing me is, pressing is English, but it's like pressing the button. It's a, a push motion. They think pressing is what it means in French. It's a faux ami. Uh, in French, pressing means dry cleaning. <laughs> so you could hear a French person say, hey, in their accent, in English, I took the uh, jogging to the pressing. That makes no sense in English. <laughs> oh, it's funny. It, it's funny. It's funny to me anyway. But basically, what I'm going to be doing is helping her discuss things. Uh, what we're going to probably talk about uh, American TV shows, which will be really cool. And I'm going to see if I can have uh, her repeat what I say in French. Basically what I'll do is I'll say a sentence in English and then I'll ask her what I said and I'll ask her to rephrase it in French to test her comprehension and to make sure that she knows what the English words mean and that she can rephrase them in her head that make the most sense. I think that would be a good exercise. Um, but really, this is... It's not really a class. I'll only be meeting with her once a week for an hour. And I think... I think I can help her. I can. I think that trying to spread this positivity to this 19-year-old girl is really important. And it's kind of become personal already because she was born on the 30th of January in 1998. And my sisters were born the day before that in the same year. She is a day younger than my sisters. And I don't know, I'm probably reading too much into that significance, but Sometimes those things just aren't coincidences. Well, I'll let you know how that goes when I get that all sorted out. But that's basically what I did today. I also went to my Greco-Roman class, which was fun. We learned about um, different classifications of cities and how constructing them is different and the different labels for all of them, which I have to now Google because I didn't quite understand her. <laughs> But it's fine. But that was my day today. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.